Hi guys, I'm Michele and welcome to my video. First of all, I want to really say that I'm sorry that I've been uh, uh, so busy in this period and I didn't post any video for about three or four months, but there were a lot of stuff going on in my life and I, I moved in another city. So this is uh, my new, new, new town where I'm living and I had really a lot of stuff to do and to move and uh, for this I'm really sorry but I hadn't time to think about any video or something like this. By the way now it's time to uh, talk about the, the purpose of this video. Uh, many of you asked me how to change the uh, original uh, Renault R-Link uh, um, welcome logo. When you turn on the car you will see a Renault R-Link uh, logo to maybe the Renault GT line logo, the Renault RS or the Renault Initial logo. And in this video we can, uh, we can see and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very simple, so please follow my uh, three steps. Start with the video. A lot of you asked me which interface I use and uh, I'm, I'm going to show you now. The interface I use is this one. Uh, it's it's available on Amazon, you can buy it for uh, about uh, 12 or 13 euro or something like this. It's very cheap but it's very powerful. And uh, please uh, note that it must have the Wi-Fi interface, not the Bluetooth, because the Wi-Fi, the, the connection speed is faster and it's more stable. And uh, for the other who asked me where to put the interface in the car, the Inter the OBD2 interface is located under the dash. You can see it here. It's the yellow, the yellow thing located under the dash. Okay, it's very easy to um, to plug. And important thing to do is to maintain the dash active by pressing the start button for at least a couple of seconds. And uh, by doing this, the dash will remain active for all the procedure. Okay, so here we are. First thing to do, as usual, open the DDT for all interface. Then we we have to select the the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi model T, and then we can we have to select. I know that I can harm as, as usual. Connect to the car. As I said before, the procedure is very simple, and it's just a couple of steps, so uh, it won't be so long. First thing to do is to um, go in. First thing to do is select the car, actually. Uh, I have, as usual, the Renault Megane, but if you have the Renault Clio, the Renault Capture, the Renault Fluence, the Renault Talisman, or the Kajaro, whatever, you have to select the correct car you have. I have the Megane 4, and I select Megane 4. Now, we have to go in the audio cluster. Um, again, if you have the 3.3 version, you have to select this one. I have the 2.2 .2 version, so I have to select this one. If you still have the 7.0 or uh, you have the upgraded 2.2 to 7.0, you still have to select this one because this is only for 3.3 and else. So select the interface we have, double click again. And now we have to go in configuration, double click. And then we have to go in ECU configuration part 2, double click. After this, we have to go down to here, well, welcome sequence. And then we have to select the one we want to activate. Now I have the Renault GT line. But if you want, you can select to the Renault Initial. The Renault RS. Or if you don't have it, the Renault GT Line. GT GT Line. Please note that the original one is the Renault R-Link DAG, which is the original one uh, you have when you buy the car. So click 
the one you want, the one you like, then you simply have to click right. Let's let's do the this one. You have to first aim by clicking on the Einstein face, then you have to click right HMI. Once you've done that, uh, there are still a couple of things to do. The first one is to the first one is to do the uh, key on off reset, which uh, shut down shuts down the Renault Arling 2 interface and in that sort of uh, uh, reload of the system. Okay, once you've done that, there a lot of, there's another thing to do. It's to perform a soft reset of the Arling 2 system by clicking the uh, start button and press it for three or four seconds. Uh, sorry, <laughs> and the system will reload completely. It's a sort of soft reset. Okay, once the system uh, has reloaded and uh, it's, it uh, turned on again, the procedure is completed. So now every time you open the car, you will have the new welcome sequence depending on what you chose. So very easy to do, but uh, I think it's very, uh, it's very cute. Okay guys, I hope you liked the video as usual and please uh, give me a like, uh, give me a comment or subscribe to my channel uh, for other Ar Renault Arling 2 tutorials and uh, a lot more. Bye guys, thank you very much.